Oh, yeah, lads. Three wins is break even. No, th three wins puts you up like six thousand gold worth of stuff. You get you get two draft tokens, which is worth ten thousand each, and six packs, which is worth six thousand. So you get twenty six thousand gold worth of prizes for your. Well, to be fair, it's only fifteen thousand gold to enter, right? For three thousand gems, converts to fifteen thousand. Much respect. So you're still like the prizes in this event is absolutely insane. <clears throat> How many events have we lost? Well, we haven't lost any, man. We have achieved profit in every single one. Every single one. Oh, you also get the three packs from the actual draft. Yeah, that's true. So, I mean, we're up, like, I, I didn't consider that, actually. So, it's 170,000 gold plus the packs from eight drafts. So, al almost 200,000 gold we've farmed worth of materials, worth of mats. <clears throat> All right. Pugilist time, baby. Let's go. This card is an absolute bomb. Can we get the Pugilus Bookworm Wombo Combo? <clears throat> Double Major. Is this a card? I don't know, man. It could be. Could be, you know. <clears throat> Pugilus Worm, Kek W. I've had that in two different drafts. So it's either Double Major or the Land. Probably just the Land, right? I kind of want to try the Double Major, though. <clears throat> Veather the Storm. Veather the Storm. Uh, I believe we'll be taking Tricky Tricksters. You seem double major be decent and limited? Yeah, but it's probably only decent sometimes, right? Whereas Campus is decent all of the time. And I mean all of the time. Okay, this looks like an incredibly good start for us. <clears throat> we could be Simic or we could be or we could be Quandrix or we could be any of the three colours, including Quandrix. Horsemanship wins games, man, so does Trample. I don't really want to play Quandrix only, because Quandrix just has no removal, dude. It's so bad. Like, unless you're getting all the Mage Jewels, all the Divide by Zeros. Okay. <clears throat> this draft is broken so far. Mm -mm. Barry, yeah, Barry's good too, yeah, but I'm just not very confident in Quandrix, man. T Dog, thanks for eight months, dude. Appreciate it, man. G Genova's witness, thank you for eleven months. Campus Tribal, hey man, cast like if you can cast your cards, you win a lot of games. That's my outlook on Magic. Does Draft have the four land unique rule? Nope. I had five. We had five campuses in one of our runs. <clears throat> Is this a cram session? 
or is it agonizing remorse and go for that salty life? <clears throat> yeah, the rat's always fine. All right, Sultai Gamer coming through. <clears throat> Sultai Gamer coming through. Symmetry Sage. Don't think that's a card. <clears throat> The elk is, I think it's an okay sideboard card, the elk. Trudge. Is Trudge playable with two cram session? Maybe. Let's have it in the maybe pile. <clears throat> That's a bomb. That's not a bomb. Hmm. <laughs> I honestly don't think this card's very good, guys. Like, no cap. No cap. <clears throat> I really like this lesson. I might just take this lesson, man. We know we're going to need to play into Flunkers. Flunkers is a card. Zoomancy. Apprentice is pretty cool. Kelpie Guide's pretty cool. I mean, you could take any of these four cards, huh? <clears throat> Vortex Runner is okay. I don't, I don't mind Vertex Runner in best of three, but I'll just play it from the sideboard and it's not really any reason to take it right now. <clears throat> one of these two, huh? It's hard not to just take the cheaper one, man. It's hard for me to not just take the cheaper card. Pest summoning seems kind of sick. Golden ratio. I don't really think we've got a deck where golden ratio is going to be too great. I mean, all our creatures are too power, aren't they? <clears throat> I'll take the pests. Let's put this in the sideboard for now. Quandrix Apprentice. Okay. All right, Sultai looks like the place to be here, chat. Looks like we're in the, the right area of the map. <clears throat> mm -mm. 
That seems kind of good. That seems kind of good. <clears throat> Lesson is fine. This one. <clears throat> I mean, it's going to be pretty bad if you only have like one or two lessons, but if you've got a nice selection, it's good, right? You just only, you can just pick it whenever it's good. Plum, Veil, probably Letter, right? Field trip seems fine. Second letter or the... This flyer is like kind of... Whatever. <clears throat> I'm not a massive fan of that flyer. I am a massive fan of casting my cards. All right, I would quite like to open a very expensive Sultai card. Like, give me a Professor Onyx. I mean, Mage Hunters, Mage Jewel, Pest Summoning, Drake, Pop Quiz, Archway Commons. I'll take any of those on the swing back. Remorse, Denial. Remorse or Denial. Both are kind of insane. Have we got a curve deck? Eh, kind of, right? <clears throat> Expanding anatomy is a good lesson too, though. I, just, I really like Curve. Another Curve, another Trickster, a Drake. I mean, Curve's a way to win games, isn't it? <clears throat> curve wins games. I think I think two curve is fine, yeah. <clears throat> Containment pre breach or another flyer. I mean the flyer is always good. Containment priest is sometimes good, so Aether Helix is nice. I don't really like Biomathematician if you've only got one. 
I, th I think I would honestly rather have the two drop. <clears throat> Oh, we got remorse back. I hate both of these cards. I hate them both. Mm -mm. Nice, cheeky sideboard tangle trap. All right, chat. Good deck. <clears throat> Looks like a good deck. How many learn cards? Only two, I think, right? No, three. <clears throat> Three learn cards, three lessons. Play both letters. I think we play both the letters, yeah. Probably. Okay, <clears throat> these last two cuts are kind of hard. Do we need that many lands? I think so, yeah. One letter, one disappointment. I'm not cutting crushing disappointment. <clears throat> I'll cut this pleb. Play one letter. Hmm. I don't know, man. I think letters are good. <clears throat> Skirt? No. Dude, the rat is a bomb, man. <clears throat> The rat is a big bomb. Okay, I'll cut one later. Fine. Worst deck so far? I, I don't know, man. This looks okay to me. Four, five, six, three, seven, eight, nine. Mm -mm -mm. Four, five, six. Okay. Deck is good, I think so. Let's give it a bash. <clears throat> 
Sultai Scoop. I think this is a solid 5-2 deck, guys. I think you're underestimating the power of this here deck. <clears throat> Solidly underestimating the power. <clears throat> I'll be surprised if we don't go at least 5-2 with this. <clears throat> Doesn't have any divine gambits. That is that is a downside to playing Sultai. No gambits, but <clears throat> mono black. Actually, mono black? Surely not. Campus Guide. What an embarrassing card. <clears throat> what an absolutely embarrassing card. I don't think we can let them draw five there. Flooding? It's okay, we've got the Skyland. <clears throat> you know guys, I've actually, I've never drafted, I mean, I must have done about 20 drafts now of Strixhaven. I've never got the opportunity to draft the, the Mythic Lesson. Which is kind of sad. Never had it. Mascot exhibition, yeah. Never had it. I've also never drafted Rutha before. Which I realised the last time we played against Rutha. <laughs> this is great Hit me up. Answer. Thanks for playing, man. It really is. It. I did pass a Rutha on our zero creature deck, but. <clears throat> our lessons are thingy constructed. They get played quite a lot in best of one, man. Ritha's absolutely gas. <clears throat> she is good, yeah. Everyone drafts it because it's colorless. Well, of course. I mean, you have to. You have to open it in your original pack, right? I wish this trickster was two mana. 
It's cost me a scry here. Scammed out of a scry. Kind of painful. Nice hunt. Dead, come on. <clears throat> come on. Day three of draft challenge, that's a grind. I mean, we've managed to grind the whole set, so, and now that I've. I, we're, I've basically grinded enough tokens and. Sh packs and stuff to well I would be able to get the whole next set but I normally play like constructed right at the start so I'll still buy packs anyway but I, I could to just play draft if I wanted I think Dude, access tunnel is straight up bonkers. What a card. What a card. Scammed out my scry again. Yeah, I think we're dead, man. I mean, we've been dead to Dina for like three turns, but thankfully opponent doesn't know that. It's only one to eat, man. They're like, they have enough. You want me? <clears throat> you fucking want me? <laughs> you want me? <clears throat> Dude, I would pick... What's that card called again? I would pick Access Tunnel over many rares. Let me tell you that. Over many rares. I kind of can't beat access to another dude. <laughs> I can't. I can't beat it. It's OP. Bonkers. <clears throat> yeah, I should have splashed stone rain. Did I get offered a stone rain? <clears throat> I mean, I feel like I didn't. K 
Kelpie guide match it. I just think Kelpie's too slow, but it might be a mistake. I'm not sure. This guy's kind of sick, isn't he? Don't think I've ever used them before. Saltai Apprentice Tribal coming through. <clears throat> Is the Explore side worth casting on rare occasion? Don't know man, I feel like if I got to untap with those two apprentices I would probably use the sorcery side. Four four is good. Yeah, four four is good. I mean we're definitely playing the four four side in this game. <clears throat> Campus guide man. <laughs> Campus guide. <clears throat> No combat trick, like come on. Yeah, who gives a fuck that? <clears throat> Just okay, man. They used their snakeskin veil, a pretty good card against me, on their Wither Bloom Apprentice. Didn't fucking do anything. I've been flunked. I my dog. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> I mean, we made their flunk cost four. It's not the end of the world. <clears throat> I feel like we're chilling in this game. I consider us to be chilling. Favorite draft card so far? Favorite draft card so far? Uh, Mizzix Mastery. The, my two favorite decks that I've played so far are the Mizzix Mastery No Creature deck and the. The Pugilist Worm deck that we had. <clears throat> Both of those were gas.
The music deck was gross. The music deck was silly, man. Absolutely silly. That Phoenix deck was also cool, but it just didn't really didn't play out too well, sadly. <laughs> Opponent's just got all the, all the tricks up his sleeve. <laughs> all the tricks. Jesus, man. <laughs> okay. Big Chungus is here, but a little bit too late. <clears throat> yeah, that was nice. That was nice. Four lands and draws gas. <clears throat> that that uh, dress was a little bit backbreaking. Streamer still predicts five two. I think this deck will go five two. I'm not losing to fucking Pete. Let me tell you that. I I win against Pete every time. Every time. <clears throat> Every single time. Rutha. Rutha. This could be it, chat. Maybe this is the fabled zero two. <clears throat> Maybe this is the zero two. Discarded a free discarded their rare by the way. So opponent is pretty confident of victory in this game. <clears throat> opponent is pretty happy with their hand it seems.
Okay, I'm scared. I'm terrified. Maelstrom Muse. Kind of upset. That's kind of upsetting. <clears throat> I bet that felt good for young Pete. All right, dude. What's the payoff? What's the spell? What is it? <clears throat> What's the spell, Pete? What's the spell? You wish Pete was streaming? Boy, go fuck yourself, okay? How's that? Yeah? How's that? Go fuck yourself, woohoo! Resolves. Resolves. The Wandering Archaic. Come on, Pete, you're better than this. Do something, mate. Do something. I block. Pete cannot believe that the card has reach. What? But What? Why doesn't that work? Cast from hand? Yeah, but they, they are... The original one gets cast second, right? So the original one does get cast from hand. Or sorry, the second one does get cast from hand, no? The copy gets cast first. That was weird. That is friggin' weird. Tangle Trap. Is Tangle Trap a trap? They do have Letter at least. Let's try it. Pete saw, like, the big combos, huh? The Rutha approach combo and has just paid 20,000 gold to learn that it doesn't work. That is really unfortunate. <laughs> that is a minus 20k. <clears throat>
an entire month of Magic the Gathering Arena quests down the down the drain. Lit literally a month's worth. Approach cannot be playable in limited, man. <clears throat> I refuse to believe it. Impossible. It's great. How is it great, though? Like, how, how is it great? I mean, it's... There's no way it's better than okay. <clears throat> it's maxed out at okay. <laughs> Play it with a ton of draw? Yeah, I mean, I guess, but you also have to not die, right? Pretty important. And also quite difficult. Is this rare lesson good or a scam? What rare lesson? I mean, we're probably going to need some sources of black mana to play this game. Absolutely farmed by Pete. Absolutely farmed. That's classic Pete, isn't it? When will he stop farming us? Probably when we draw black mana, I guess, that would help. <clears throat> How much life do you get from approach? Seven? Seven, right? Good job. Apologies. Having some vision issues here. Can't see a thing. If I lose to Pete, that will be to blame. <clears throat> Alright chat, we appear to be having some issues here, casting our spells. Six semic deck. Thanks, man. I mean, we might still win this game, which is crazy. But Pete does strike me as a man who has a plan. 
unfortunately. <clears throat> So we can copy our whole board to become zero zero fractals and then I assume that lets us gain two life. <clears throat> okay, Pete goes to four, all the way down to four here. really paining me a little chat that we can't cast these black cards, I'm not gonna lie. Pete didn't bounce a token? Like, you can't bounce a token, man. It's mana value one or greater. Okay. Slain. But, well, will this streamer ever go zero two? Is he just immune from going zero two? Incredible stuff. All right, we've never went one two either, and this this is not the deck to go one two. So get like get all your predictions on a win, because I don't I don't go one two. I don't go one two. This is a clear victory. You see on the play. Got some decent cards. Uh-oh. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Okay. <clears throat> Activate defense of Sultai here. Just don't die. I'm gonna try. <clears throat> I'm gonna try. Hope you're having a great stream so far. Keep doing what you're doing. <clears throat> it's 
still on 19, man. We're still on 19. We've still we've got massive problems here with these three creatures, but we're still on 19. Resolve. Damage resolves. Motherfucker man. <laughs> that was worth a try. I think that was worth a try. Feels like it was worth a try. Yeah, we're alive. We are alive. Okay. Leon and Light Scraper. Huh? Leon and Light Scrape. <clears throat> that was a nutty hand. It's okay, man. It's okay. I'm ready and prepared for the opponent's strategy. I'm ready and prepared for all strategies with this deck. All strategies. <clears throat> this is Pete's main account. <laughs> okay. Mana is chilling. We've got the trickster to slow the opponent down. We're on the play. It's all looking rosy here. <clears throat> oh, look at that tempo, dude. It's too good. It's just too good. past the main phase two to check if I'm playing Pact of Negation. A sensible strategy. <clears throat> Alright. I'm willing to take it to the dome here a little bit. I'm willing to take it to the dome. Eager first year is just so strong, man. <laughs> Card's crazy. What? That's a dark ritual. That's a dark ritual. Mavinda. Mavinda and Leon and Light Scribe, huh? Classic 1 1 bracket. Dude, you can't cast that. That costs nine, mate. Read your own fucking cards, Medgars.
Tehát... Unconvinced that we're dead. I'm still unconvinced. One two. Nope. <clears throat> There's no way opponent can get there, man. I'm on 18 life. 18 life. Okay. Creature down. Creature down. Creature down. Creature not down. <clears throat> it's kind of a problem. That is kind of a problem. <clears throat> Farmed? Well, I mean, I, I hope they draw land. But again, I'm not I'm not convinced it's over yet. Does look very bad though, don't get me wrong. Looks very bad. <sighs> we desperately needed a land there. We desperately need a land. Mm, 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 mm. Why didn't I get one then? I'm not sure, man. That is a good question. Very good question.
We're trying, Jack. This guy, he just doesn't draw lands, man. <laughs> These attacks are so backbreaking. <clears throat> it's crazy. Alright, definitely could be dead. Definitely could be dead. Still no lands, man. Still no lands. How is this possible? <clears throat> How on earth is it possible? <laughs> Two matches in a row where opponents all gas. Yep. <clears throat> We're holding on, man. We're holding on for dear life here. Land, Pog. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, so if I scry, I've got three mana left, huh? Is it even acceptable to scry? I mean, it really only turns off our Mage Hunter's Onslaught, to be fair. Okay. It's a scry. <clears throat> We're scrying, chat. We are scrying. That wouldn't help. Okay, chat. The first one to. <clears throat> first one to. It was going to happen eventually. Those two losses were rough, man. <laughs> Just to all gas, no brakes, aggro decks, huh? Que Ecuador! <laughs> Ok, 
Эквадор!